How ChatGPT built my app in the matter of minutes. Building an app usually sounds like a huge challenge, right? You think about complicated coding, endless hours of debugging and programming, and expensive software tools. But what if I told you that in 2025, you can create a working app in just minutes using AI? specifically ChatGPT. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how ChatGPT helped me build a functional and great working app super fast. It was required with no coding experience. And if you want to save time and see how AI can bring your app ideas to life, do make sure to stick around because this is going to be blowing your mind because it did sure blow my mind. So why use ChatGPT to actually build apps? You might be wondering why even use ChatGPT? Well, ChatGPT is no longer just a chatbot for casual conversations. Thanks to advancements in AI, it can generate code snippets, debug scripts, and even help you design any logic-based application. So as you can see over here, recently I was working on a graphic design portfolio and I had ChatGPT create me a simple HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for me. You know, it's pretty cool. You can generate these snippets and logic based codes using single prompts. And my prompt was only make me a graphic designer portfolio with minimalistic styles. And my name is John, write a code in C++ with HTML, CSS, Java. You know, that is pretty much about it. So this basically means that you don't have to learn complex programming languages or spend months figuring out frameworks. It's basically like having a virtual developer who understands your instructions and writes the code for you instantly. Plus, it can help with both front end user interface design and back end functionality. It makes the app building accessible for complete beginners just as yourself. So here's exactly how I built my app with chat GPT. So first, I had a clear idea of what I wanted to do. So, you know, first of all, make a mind map make a whole map of what you want, make a blueprint, a simple to do list app with reminders and categories. Let's say I opened chat GPT and started describing my apps feature in plain English. Now, chat GPT responded by generating the full code for the apps front end in react native, which means it can run on both Android and iOS devices. I copy the code into an online code editor like Expo snack, which lets you test react native apps instantly in your browser or phone. And finally, I asked ChatGPT to add additional features like local storage so my tasks wouldn't disappear after closing the app. It wrote the necessary code snippets and even helped a debug a few errors. So in less than 30 minutes, I had a fully functioning prototype that I could test on my phone, all without writing a single line of code manually. So to give you an example, let's go ahead and I'll write make me code for a reminder and daily tasks app in react native make the app let's say minimalistic with quite sophisticated features sophisticated features sectioning and styling so i'm simply going to write that in you know so it's pretty straightforward it's uh, pretty you know simple to understand and it's a single prompt so let's go ahead and enter that in. Now we enter that in and look at that. We have started creating a React Native code. And obviously React Native is a whole output for your mobile devices. And obviously the best part about React Native is that you can use it on iOS and Android. So once this is done, as you can see, it gives us a proper plethora. So here's the main structure. Bottom tab navigation for reminders, tasks, and settings. I Ionicons for sleek UI, color theming for a minimal and, but modern feel. Then we have smart reminders, task sections, and dark mode and custom themes. So now you can actually check on ChatGPT. So click on preview or output. And as you can see, reminder tasks app is loading. Now in the case, it will say that, you know, you will have some errors in the console, obviously. So in the case that does happen, look at that. That's the reminder task loading error. Now it does say that there is a few codes. So there are errors, fix the errors. So you're going to write that in. And obviously chat GPT is going to do that for you. As you can see, it goes on, it fixes the errors for you. It goes through every line. So if there are any errors, it says the errors have been fixed change the incorrect name imports, corrected ionicons, and ensure proper syntax. Now you go over to preview again. And again, in some cases, it will give you errors. So those errors could generally be because, you know, 
we aren't on a mobile device, so it might not read the proper mobile device functionalities. But as you can see, in less than 30 minutes, I at least have a loading screen for the app. And it can't install the packages because I haven't provided it the packages. So you can ask it to do that. So you can basically write, um, you know, again, add additional features like local storages. So, you know, things won't disappear. So I'm going to go ahead and write that in. Let's paste that in. And once you do that and, you know, do make sure to keep on telling it to debug all the necessary errors that are ruining your code. And as you can see, it keeps going on and on with all the main things that you're actually going to need. And it's pretty cool that you have features like this in today's world. Now, it is important to note that while ChatGPT is incredibly powerful, it's not a magic wand. So it works best for small to medium apps with straightforward logic, things like to-do lists, calculators, or simple informational apps. So for very complex apps with extensive backend integration, AI-generated code may need more human input or refinement. Still, for rapid prototyping and learning app development basics, ChatGPT is a game changer, and it can save you tons of time and effort. So tips for working with ChatGPT on app development would be to definitely be as clear and detailed as possible in your prompts. The more specific you are about features and design, the better the AI can tailor the code. Also, test the main code incrementally instead of asking for the entire app at once. Build feature by feature and troubleshoot with ChatGPT's help. Lastly, do not be afraid to ask for explanations or improvements to the code. ChatGPT can also basically act as a coding tutor to help you understand what the code actually does. So, you know, basically, there you have it. That is how I use ChatGPT to build a working app in just minutes, even with zero coding experience. So if you have got app ideas for yourself, but feel intimidated by programming, AI tools like ChatGPT are opening new doors for creators like you and me. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the foreseeable future, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. And also do make sure to share this video around with your friends and family or anyone in need of this video because that truly helps me out. And also do let me know if you have other ideas for videos, you know, maybe related to this topic, maybe related to some other topic, other CRMs, other softwares, etc. You let me know down in the comments below and I will definitely make them for you. And again, if there is any consistent issue with something in this video, if you think I made a mistake on something, do let me know and I will fix that or, you know, let you know if it is right or wrong immediately. So yeah, that is pretty much all there is. Again, drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, share this video around, and I'll be seeing all of you in the very next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.